Hello guys, welcome back to another video on Terraria Journeys and so Let's just jump right back into the game because the screen already suggests when I'm on the main menu for some other reason So let's just get right back in so we can stop all this jittering. Anyway, yeah, as I said ladies and gentlemen uh, Yeah, welcome back. Last episode what we've done is we've battled and successfully defeated the Torch God That was well it took us quite a long time But eventually with the help of my other account We finally managed to defeat him and now we have the Torch God's Grace which allows us to have the torch swap thing which probably isn't that useful because I cannot turn the, turn the you know biome torches back into normal torches. But why would I be picking torches back up again? It probably isn't a reason. Anyway, yeah. So today, as you know, I want to go and build an arena because I'm definitely strong enough to defeat the Eye of Cthulhu. It's just I don't have enough. I just uh, ah. <clears throat> I'm definitely strong enough to defeat the Eye. I have strong enough weapons, strong enough armor. It's just that um, I don't have an arena, so the Eye of Cthulhu hits me too much and I die. But today, if we build an arena, presumably right here in the desert, then we should be able to go and sh we should be able to go and kill the Eye of Cthulhu today, which would be quite good. And also, we could probably kill King Slime today as well. So that should be two bosses down, well, three in total, including the Torch God. So yeah, Eye of Cthulhu, Tor Eye of Cthulhu, and Brave. No, no, Brave Cthulhu. Eye of Cthulhu and King Slime should be able to go and kill those two guys today after we build an arena. And then I guess next episode you can worry about going to the Crimson, exploring the Crimson, and preparing the Crimson for the battle against the Brain of Cthulhu. Also blowing up some places, getting some weapons from there. And uh, yeah, just simply exploring the Crimson, getting some weapons from there, and getting ourselves ready for the battle between between the Brain. But first you have to deal with the Eye and King Slime. And you have to deal with that right here in the desert. So without further ado, let's just go get ourselves some wood, and I guess let's get on it. We are 20% completed of the beast tree, which is quite good. We have the balloon, the windy, oh, these guys are called windy balloon, apparently. Interesting name, I must say. And, uh, yeah, they only, oh, they only spawn it on windy days. I don't know, I actually know that. Interesting. And, yeah, I have all these dudes, the arms dealer, yeah, the arms dealer moved in last episode. I don't actually have a gun, so he only moved in because I loaded in my other character, but that's fine. Anyway, um, yeah, let's, I guess, just go get ourselves some platforms, build that arena, fight the eye, fight the king slime, and next episode you can worry about exploring the crimson, getting ourselves ready for the battle between the brain. And I guess after the Brain of Cthulhu is defeated, we can head back into the jungle, explore this place, prepare for the Queen Bee battle, and have a fun time with that. So, yeah. That is that is generally the plan. Make an arena, fight the, fight the Eye, fight the King Slime, head on the Crimson, fight the Brain, and then worry about the Queen Bee in the jungle. Good. And by that point, we should be able to have Crimson armor, so it should be a lot stronger. Anyway, platforms. Need a lot of platforms. What material do I have a lot of? I have a lot of wood. Which is wood does, um... I don't know. I don't have infinite wood, and I like infinite wood. Whew, yeah, I do have a lot of wood. 374, but I think we were going to need this wood to build something, right? Well, in theory, if we're going to be building home somewhere else, we're probably going to build it out of material that we're going to be building at home in. But I'm going to need wood to extend my home, and I do want to extend my home in, like, the next few episodes. Maybe even next episode, I don't know. But I want to extend my home very, very soon. I also need to build a house in the snow biome, so we're also gonna, there's a lot of building for us to do, so we can extend our home very soon. But uh, I don't know what to build the arena out of. I am thinking about maybe going and stealing some platforms from some different world. That's what we're going to do. Because I kind of want my wood, because I'm going to need to extend my house very soon. So let's just steal some wood. Yeah, shall we just steal some platforms from the builder's workshop. Build a big, huge um, arena. And then you're going to, I guess, worry about finding some bosses, shall we? Yeah, good. We can also maybe make ourselves a King Slime Summoner, because I got an I have Cthulhu King Summoner, but I don't have a King Slime Summoner. Yeah, right here, I got that, but then the other one. And anyway, yeah, this place is a very big mess. And yeah, it's really lags, but it does what it's supposed to do. Now, um, yeah, also I just realized I deleted the armor, I? yeah, I actually deleted the armor that goes over there. We'll have to fix it up at some point. Anyway, I'm here for the platforms, and I believe I can find those right over here, right? Yeah, get me over here. And there's, yep, just a nice, mm, a thousand pieces of wood, that should be enough, thank you, out of here I go, goodbye. We can always come back and put that back, after we're done. Now, let's jump right back in, and yeah, let's build ourselves this arena, fight some bosses on said arena, and then I guess next episode you can worry about going to the Crimson, dealing with stuff in the Crimson, and then yeah, Queen Bee will come soon, making Crimson armor, extending our house, I don't want to extend my house soon, I want to build a house in the snow biome as well. Sorry, I was just turning off my second monitor. Hey, uh, we're gonna build a house over here. Probably, I'm probably gonna build like near this little lake. Probably like it could be like hanging off like here. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. There's a lot to do, and I'm probably gonna extend my house. Maybe even next episode, we'll see. But today, let's just build an arena, fight some bosses, 
Then you can have the house extender to do. There's a lot to do. There really is a lot to do. Where am I going? I have a pylon. I keep on forgetting about the pylons. They're still so new to me that I keep on forgetting about them. And also, we mowed this grass down last episode and now, look. Uh, there's no uh, more, like, you know, grass like this growing on. There's just, like, flat grass. And that, that's probably cool. That is quite cool. I do plan on, like, making, like, a mini golf course over there. You can probably even do that now. I just want to check the prices. And um, for one of these, okay, that's actually very cheap. Eight silver, that is so cheap. And 80 silver, these are actually very cheap. I'm going to go and buy myself a, a mid-range, long-distances, sand pits, finishing holes. Okay, I'm going to buy myself an iron club. And I'm also going to buy a golf tee. And a golf ball. Nice. Anything else? And also a golf cup. We're going to need that. And maybe even a flag. How about a... I like yellow. We're going to get ourselves a yellow flag. Anything else I need from you? No. His his prices are very cheap. Like, his prices are very cheap. Thanks to the fact that, yeah, he's living where he wants to live and he's very happy. Alright, cool. We're going to go and put this right over here. And our goal will be able to hit the ball that are... I just realized the crimson is very close to our world. Like, look how close the crimson is. Like, it's literally right there. Like, bro, when the crimson is gonna start spreading, then, well, this won't be good. So I'm gonna have to go and do something to, you know, push the crimson back. Because it's very close to our housing. So, yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to go and push that back some way. Whatever. Let's put a flag over here as well. Yeah, put a bit of a flag. Nice. Now you can go and worry about, you know, smacking that ball into our area. Smack you down here. Okay, can I put you a bit further on? I know it's just building arenas, but give me a minute. Put you over here. I put you on here. There you are. And then you go and smack you over there. And... Ha ha ha. Beautiful. You see, that's exactly what this place is for. And... Hoo. And now can we land that? Well, I'm pretty sure all of them will eventually land in. Because, you know, they don't have to go that far. But I wonder if we can, like, land it in with a shot from that. I don't know. You can also explore your world quite easily. Because the because the ball does indeed actually explore your map. So you could actually... You can explore your world very easily with the ball. If you want to. Like, look. It's exploring the sky for me. It's pretty nice. Bit of a life hack, I guess you could say. But anyway, yeah, that is that. It's, oh, God, Christ. That's, yeah, that is pretty much just our golf course. Ball, get back on, would you? Yeah, she is. So, yeah, I pretty sure put a chest over here, to be honest. But, yeah, we can just do that. Beautiful. We can also extend this at some point. We can have fun time with this. Also, yeah, as I said, we can go and explore, you know, the sky with this ball. That's also pretty useful. Yeah, it's pretty nice, I must say. I like it. I need a chest for this. Let's get ourselves a chest with... Well, we do have got the wood, so you can probably make a chest. Or we can steal a chest. Yeah, I'm gonna steal a chest. You can find more of those later. Give me you. But we can find more of those later. When I have more than enough chests anyway. Let's go and smack you right down here. Oh, God Christ. Hello, Zool. Just let's put you right down here. There we are. And then you can go and smack you too into here. Nice. So you can probably use it to explore the sky later on. Now, I need to speak to the Zool just before we head out to the desert. Um, I need to buy... Okay, you're not selling it just yet. I wanted to go and buy a dog license from her, but she's not selling one yet. Anyway, we're in the desert, in this beautiful place. Now, let's go and build ourselves an arena over here, shall we? Yeah, I plan on smacking it right damn center in here. The only issue about this, though, if we're going to be fighting bosses like the destroy her, the people that live in here will die. So, the people in the cacti home will die quite a lot, unfortunately. But there's no better place for me to put the arena. Well, I guess I could put it right here. Yeah, I guess I could put it right here, to be honest. Actually, no, let, let's put it right there. It's a good place, and it's far away from everyone, so, you know, maybe the destroyer could make it over there if you really wanted to. But we're gonna build it over there, because it's just a better place. Let's smack it over there, maybe fight some bosses today. King Slime, I have Kafula, get those out of the way. And next episode, we can worry about expanding our house, and or exploring the Crimson. Good. Now, let's get over here, shall we? There we are. I keep on forgetting that, that this hook can attach to trees. You know, normally hooks only attach to blocks, but this one can also attach to trees, which is... Pretty neat feature, I must say. It's like a squirrel who could makes kind of sense, obviously. But I like it. Very cool. Very useful. Allows you to, you know, grapple around a lot easier. All right, now. Get up. And I plan on having the arena right here. This would be a great place. Kind of like on the midpoint between these two little hills. Oh, no. Stop. It's a windy day, apparently, because this fool's here. Duh. Just die. There you go. It's a pretty good arena place placement because, you know, not many enemies will get up on that hill. It's a cool place. Anyway. We have, you know, a thousand pieces of wood, so you can go and make two thousand platforms, because, you know, one wood means two platforms. Let's go, let's make ourselves, you know, a thousand uh, pieces of platform. There we are. And then you can go and build an arena of this, shall we? Right. 6,700, 800, and 999. And we still have 500. Okay, yeah, 500 pieces of wood left. I can actually... Yeah, okay, whatever, that's fine. Yeah, now, uh, can you, like, deal with those guys? Thank you. Oh, cheers. I need to go kill the King Slime so I can make those guys, you know, stop aggressing on me. 
Because it's quite annoying, I must say. Oh god, stop. That's a pretty nice place, I must say. No, stop, stop, get out. I don't want to be in there. Throw the shurikens back in there. Alright, now get up, for the love of god. Okay. We're gonna smack the first platform down here, just so, you know. Just so if we do fall down to the very bottom. If we do need to fall down quite low, just so, you know, we don't actually fall down into this pit. Because falling down into a pit ain't healthy. Let's also maybe fix you up. There we are. Nice. So, yeah, just in case we do fall down, we don't actually fall into that hole. Because holes aren't good. Oh, the slimes. So many slimes die. I was gonna start dumping the gel, but I'm, oh, I'm gonna probably need to create quite a lot of gel. Because we're gonna need the gel to actually summon, you know, the king slime. Anyway, let's quickly go and just build this arena. I'm not gonna show you the entire building process, because it's gonna be quite boring. But I'm gonna show you most of it, I guess. Well, no, maybe not even most of it, just a bit of it. And this is my plan. First of all, I'm gonna go and connect these two mountains, and then you're gonna build an arena further up, emerging from, you know, the space between these two mountains. It's gonna be quite an interesting design, but I'm no architect, so, you know, don't expect much from me. I'm probably gonna need to put a arena between, I mean, I'm gonna need to put a platform between these two, this one, because, you know, it's a bit of a drop. And when we're fighting bosses quite early on, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to go, I'm not gonna be able to go up quite easily, so. I need a, I need an easy way up, basically. So, you know, we're gonna have to go and fill the hole up. But generally, this is my plan. Connect these two mountains together, and then worry about making this, well, like, decent arena, I guess you could say. I got so much wood, oh my god. I mean, just dirt. Get in there. Alright, now, where should we put this one? My, uh, Finch, Finch should yield that slam quite easily. Let's quickly go and build it across here, shall we? Yeah, that's perfect, good. Yeah, can you deal with that fool? Yeah, cheers. The Finch is such a bad we got them summoned, like, bruh. It's, it's decent for starting up the game, but at the point of the game I'm in, it's, well, a bit of a, you know, not, not much help, to be honest. Whatever. That's that. That's already pretty good. Now we're gonna go and, you know, worry about getting that up here. Yeah, so we can basically get up like that, start shooting behind ourselves like that, yeah. This might, this might not be the best place, because, you know, the boss will kind of be, be inside of the blocks so and be able to hit it, but it's, well, whatever. And then the next platform can go on from here. There we are. Connect you to there. Beautiful. And I guess you can have a bit of a, a gap between you two. Yeah. Right, fine. I just can go and have, um, yeah. Uh, just this over here and I can connect to there. Good. And this could be the arena. It's not going to be the world's biggest arena because, you know, I'm doing this on... Uh, I'm doing this without any cheats. I already cheated a bit to, you know, get myself the wood. But generally, I have to... Well, it's not... It's, uh, I don't know how to say this, but it ain't going to be too easy. Well, nothing in life ever is easy. Now, building up higher is going to be a bit more complicated because it's not like I can, you know, um, free cam over there. I'm going to have to go and journey build up, which is going to be quite complex. Whatever. I believe that, yeah, we can build from trees, which is quite cool. We can actually build from top of a tree. It's a pretty neat feature, I must say. And I was going to connect that to summer. So, yeah, I guess I'm going to build this arena. And I guess I'll see you after the arena is somewhat built. And I can go and fight some bosses on this arena. Presumably two. King, Slime, Math, Kulu, get those two done. And next episode, you can worry about, you know, Building, uh, expanding our house, exploring the cribs that have in front of that. Anyway, yeah, I'll see you in a minute. And the second I stopped recording, it started to rain. So now it's raining, which is not good because now these stupid slimes, the umbrella slimes are gonna start spawning, and also the flying fish are gonna start spawning. So that's gonna make this entire building process 20 times harder. But, well, yeah, that's, there's, there's just no but, that's gonna be hard. Oh, well, I'll manage, I'll, yeah, I'll see you later. After I get killed by slimes, most likely. Alright, so this is our progress so far, and also the reason I started recording is because I just killed a flying fish and I dropped some fries. Yeah, it's just dropped some fries. Where's the ketchup? So that's cool. Increase life regen, we can use that for like a boss battle. Nice. As well as I actually have the stuff of regrowth on me as well. Interesting. Anyway, yeah, that's what the arena looks like. It's pretty good. I've nearly got it finished, and it's also become a night time, so that's good because, you know, we could probably most likely fight the F Kfulu soon. Because, you know, we can fight it during the night, so if we finish, like, before it turns, like, to, like, midnight, well, yeah, midnight, in the middle of the night, then we should be able to fight the Afkafu soon, basically. Because the arena is nearly done, and I should be able to beat the Afkafu quite easily with an arena, so I'm thinking we can add on, like, one more layer, and then I'm pretty sure the arena should be finished, and then with that ex with that ex extended arena, we can fight the Afkafu. So, yeah, we can test out this arena, like, this night. So, yeah, it's quickly finished it off. Go back home, put all of our stuff away, and uh, yeah, go back here. Fortunately, the nearest pylon is all the way over the desert, so it is quite far away. Or I guess even which one's closer? The desert one is close. So yeah, the nearest pylon is quite far away, but oh, we're fast. We'll make it. Oh, stop! No, god damn it! Yeah, there's loads of slimes over here because of this goddamn rain. It's still raining, by the way, as you can clearly see. It's gonna be nighttime very soon, so I gotta clearly, you know, hurry up, finish this off. It's gonna be quite dark on this arena as well because I haven't placed down any torches yet, and plus. I haven't actually, um, whatchamacallit, 
I haven't placed any torches and I would pro probably put some campfires down here normally, but since I'm not playing on, you know, modern terraria, I can't spawn in any campfires, so that's unfortunate. But yeah, anyway, I think the arena's done. I've got a bunch of layers over here where you can go and run around, jump on around. Yeah, go up to the top layer, shoot shoot it, shoot the boss, get up, yeah, and then we run back down again. Yeah, actually a pretty good arena. Then you can just go down here if we need to. So yeah, that's that. You can quickly light it up by journey. Um, yeah, I would pro I'll probably some campfires down here normally, but since I'm not playing on modern terraria, I cannot actually spawn in the campfires. I have to actually craft the campfires, and I don't really feel like crafting campfires, so yeah, that ain't gonna happen. But still. At least you can light it up with torches. We can't even use our torch sword because we're in the forest and the normal torches are the ones that you can use in the forest. And yeah, it's gonna be nighttime very soon. So you're gonna be very quick because, because you know, I wanna have the entire night to fight the AF Cthulhu because most boss battles take quite a while to defeat and AF Cthulhu also takes quite a while. So I wanna have the entire night just so you can, you know, just so you can beat it. Just so we're 100% sure we can beat it. Anyway, that's that. Now let's make our way back home. There we are. Uh, just quicks all of our stuff away. There we are. Put, oh, I actually put the wood away. Okay, I can need to put that wood. Wait a minute. Give me 500 wood from here. Yeah. I gotta put the wood back where I took it from because you know I don't really feel like cheating that much today. Oh god, it's gonna take me a while, a year to get all the 500 wood from here. Okay, we can put the wood back. Well, most likely now. I don't know. We'll see. Actually, I know. Let's make. Our, let's go to the builder's workshop. Sort our inventory here and then come back here. And you know the times are gonna be passing while we're over there. I believe it's gonna be nighttime like soon. So. I believe it's probably nighttime right now. I don't even have a clock, so I can't really tell. Okay, get me over there. There we go. Now let's go over there, and let's sort out our inventory over there, just so the time doesn't pass, then come back, and we're going to be able to go and ready to kick some butt the second we come back. There we are. So, I need to put the wood away, basically. And I'm thinking what I'm going to do is soon go and craft all of you back into you. And then you can put it away, drink some potions, eat some of uh, our fries, and yeah, I guess get to it. Turn you into you. There we are. And yeah, let's teleport ourselves over here. This is gonna lag the game out. Okay, that's not that bad actually. And we found the wood over here, so it's gonna go back right over here. There we are. Boom. Bada bam. There we are. 645 wood. Nice. Alexa, stop. Nobody cares about your reminders. Alright, now. Let's, uh, yeah. Let's jump right back in and let's just, yeah, let's fight the eye. I already have the summoner on me because you got it like a long time ago from a chest, so. Yeah, let's go. Let's fight a goddamn boss. If we fail, it's gonna be quite sad, but that's gonna be fine. And then we can go and you know make ourselves a summoner, a uh, a what you call it. We can make ourselves a king slime summoner, and you can fight the king slime, you know, in the day after we're done fighting this fool. And I can see, as you can see, yeah, I was holding, I was holding, uh, what you call it? I was holding desert torches when I was running through the desert, but now my torches are now back to normal torches because I run back into the forest. That's a very cool feature. I really like it. The Torch God is, uh, I really like it. It's a pretty cool thing. I, I guess he, he, in theory, it is a boss, but most boss battles require you to kill the boss. The lower is held down to zero to kill it. But you don't really kill that boss, really. You know, you know. Whatever. Here we are at the arena. It's beautiful. It's great. Let's summon the eye, hopefully kill it. And then I guess you can deal with King Slam the day, and that should be quite a good episode. So without further ado, let's, yeah, eat our fries, summon a boss. Let's do this. The Afghan fool has been summoned. So you go and deal with this idiot. There we are. Here he is, so we can get it down to half health quite easily, but then, you know, it's second stage, or should I say third stage, where it starts charging at you, that's where it gets difficult. So, this arena is already making the battle a lot easier, and I also got like, I think like 40 more health than, you know, since the last time we were here, so that should also make it a bit easier, you know, thanks to the increased health that we found from the life crystal, so yeah, this should be fine. The damage we're dealing is pretty good, there's also a lot of idiots over here, you know, like these stupid zombies. Uh, there's not much that you can do about the zombies, but that's well, fine, I guess. I guess you could, uh, if we would have built this arena next to our cactus home, then no enemies would spawn because you know we were in a because we were in a town. The bosses would still work well. It's just that there would be any any enemies annoying us because you know we'd be in a town. Then I think about that. Oh well. Uh, yeah, we're taking quite a bit of hits. I must say, my jump height's pretty bad, and we're in the second stage. Yeah, my jump height's very bad, so I have to use my hook if I want to get up a level on most you know platforms. Some platforms are quite low down. Okay, here we are. We're in the second stage. We're going to be entering third stage very soon. Like, very, very soon. Alright, he's going to start charging at me. Okay, this is where we start taking the hits. And yeah, this is where we start taking a lot of damage. There we are. And we go, in the third stage. We can probably, you know, use our top part of the arena to evade all those attacks. My mana is going to run out very soon. I don't really have a mana region potion either, so that's not too good. Okay. I'm out of mana. That's great. Yeah, I guess we do that now, yeah? Okay, great. I didn't really think about what I'd be doing in the second stage. Yeah. I need a weapon. I need a weapon because I don't have a way to damage it in the second stage. I didn't really think about this now, did I? No. 
Okay, we've got our mana back. Good. There's still a few mana crystals left. Okay, no. Okay, evade those attacks. Evade, evade. No, stop charging around so much for the love of God. You stupid big fat eye. Okay, then we're gonna go up here. There we are. Nice, evade those. Evade those. That, that, that stupid, you know, um, demon eye that's floating around is quite annoying me. Okay, he's dead. Good. I'm taking quite all the hits. I do have increased life regen from those fries, which is quite nice. Okay, I'm out of mana. Stop, 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 no, stop, okay. We're dealing quite a lot of damage to it. It's nearly dead. It's nearly dead. We can actually do this. This flaming mace, it's very hard to hit it with the mace, but it, when we do hit it, we deal quite a lot of damage. It's quite nice. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, yeah. We're taking quite a lot of hits. We're taking quite a lot of hits. We're gonna heal. There we go. We're gonna heal up. Bonus 50 health, which we already pretty much lost. Okay, stop, you stupid demon eye. My finch is literally not doing anything. I'm just saying. My finch is doing a terrible job at killing the demon eye. Okay, my mana is nearly up. Okay, my mana is regenerating again. Okay, no, stop, 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 just die. Can someone kill that stupid eye, the demon eye? Okay, come on. I oh, know, I think we failed. I think we failed. Just kill it. Oh, yes! Oh my Jesus, that demon eye was so annoying. Oh, I had 40 health left. Oh my God, get me back home. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, that was something. That was something. Well, that's that, I guess. The eye of Cthulhu. Has been shot in the head. Oh my god. Well, that's that, I guess. That's the eye. Wow, wait. We probably should have fought King Slime first. Just thinking about it now. Oh well. Let's quickly go and just drop this bag, shall we? Does it pop up in the minimap? No, it doesn't. But it does shine quite nice. Just that, yeah, the treasure bags are different. The treasure bags look like this. That was quite cool. Oh my god. That was something. Right, let's open this bag. Boom. Alright. Three items as usual. A crimson seed, I'm not even gonna keep that Well, okay, I'm gonna keep it just in case. It's back in the herbs chest. There we are. Nice, put you away. Uh-huh. And also the uh, the shield of Cthulhu is guarding, so it's two more defense. That's also very good. Get up. I'm probably gonna swap it out for my um uh, yeah, climbing claws. I don't really use those too much. They're more annoying than useful to be honest. So there. There we are. We'll get ourselves a shield, bonus two defense, twenty nine defense, nice. These oh these were warding though. As these were warding, weren't they? Yes, I had thirty three defense of these. I had 33. Okay, I kinda got I kinda I gotta keep that. They're warding. I need that. I guess I don't really need the band of regeneration. Yeah, I prefer the defense over the region. There we are. 33 defense. Nice. The amount of region can I guess stay on. We can go and keep it like right here, can we? Nice, good. Right, cool. That's that. And yeah, I don't know. So we have yeah, 56 crim crimtain ores, which you can, which you can turn into crimtain bars. I wanna see, can I make anything else with the crimtain ore? Or is it just the bars? Oh, wowie. Okay, we can also make blocks, but that's useless. Alright, and here we go. Alright, wowie. I did not expect that we'd win that. Wow. I guess we could fight it again, but I don't really have another summoner, do I? No. And I think, yeah, I don't have any new summoners. Whatever. Here we have 18 Crimtain bars. I can make a few things with it, but generally, if I want to, if I want to make the armor, I need crim <coughs> I need crimson tissues, yeah. If I want to make the armor, I need crimson tissues, because, yeah, we need the tissues for armor. So for now, we can only make weapons, which is, I guess, fine. Tendon bow. I guess I could make the bow. I don't think I'm probably gonna go and do like a ranger and play through. So I guess I could make the bow. It does, yeah, pretty good bow. 20 range damage. Yeah, we could use this to destroy the um, king slime. Let's make ourselves a bow, shall we? Yeah. And you can swap it out for. Oh, it's a sluggish one. Okay, now I'm gonna make another one. Screw you. It's a just a normal one. Great. And you can sell you. That is, you know, I did. I did just waste eight crimson bars. But what can I do? I'm not taking. I'm not taking a sluggish one. Go to hell. These grenades. I don't know, I guess I could use those against the brain of Cthulhu. I think I'm probably gonna swap it out for my axe. I don't need my axe on me. Cool. I need, to, I need to buy more arrows. Okay, let's put this away. All this stuff. There we are. Ores, you can go away and you can go away. Nice. We can actually smell these into a platinum bar, can't we? There we are. Just so we can have that filled up. There we are. Platinum bar. And now we need to go and make ourselves a summoner for good old King Slime, don't we? Yeah. So I'm gonna need one of these. And I'm also gonna need a few of these to make myself the crown, the tiara. How do I make it? It's a good question. How do I make it? Ah, uh, there it is. I need exactly five gold bars. Nice. Well, anyway, boom. That is one gold crown. Now I'm going to go and get a bunch of gel to go and turn it into something useful. Also, yeah, I have a bunch of... I have a bit of more gold. I don't have too much. I need to get more gold because I don't have too much. How do I? No. All right, let's go and put all of you away. You're just like, I have just... Just because I don't like having an empty spot in my, you know, thingamajigger. Why are you the wrong way around now? You're supposed to be up there, aren't you? Yeah, that's good. Alright, cool. Now, let's sell you, buy more arrows, and do something with you, shall we? Yeah, alright. Hello, how do you do? Why are you here? You shouldn't even be here. Whatever. Barney, my man! Um, yeah. Sell me some arrows, would you, brother? Thank you. I need a lot of those. Like, I need a lot. Well, I guess I don't need too much, but still, fine. 
Just give me some arrows. Nice. And there we go. Stack our arrows. Take that. Yeah. Good. Now let's go back home. Put the money away. And uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know how much slime I need to so just get all of our slime. Which is... Okay. That's a lot of slime. And now we should be able to go and make ourselves... Do I need a demon altar for this? Okay. I do. I need a crimson altar to turn this into a summoner, I believe. I think. Let's double check. But I think I need a crimson altar. Alright. Actually, yeah. I do indeed need a crimson altar. Okay, fine. I also only need 20. I swear before we needed like 100 gel. You only need 20 now. I think they decreased the amount. Maybe not. I don't know. Whatever. Let's just get ourselves 20 um, slime. And yeah. Wait for day diamonds. Fight the king slime. So that went very well. That went very well. And now the Eye of Cthulhu is dead. And now we have, yeah, we have two more bosses left that you can probably defeat at our level. King Slime, which you can deal with right now, and then Crimson, and we, yeah. We have two two more bosses left that you can defeat at our level. We have the good old, I see this torch is going to turn into a Crimson Torch in a minute. Yeah, wait a minute, just give it a second. And, come on, we're still in the forest apparently. There, it's the Crimson Torch, that's pretty nice. Anyway, yeah, we have two bosses left to defeat at our level. King Slime, which you're going to defeat right now, and then the Brain of Cthulhu, which you can defeat next episode. Although, I don't know if I want to go and extend, extend my house next episode or if I want to go and fight the brain. I'm probably, I'm probably going to take a small break from fighting and we're going to build our house and you can worry about the brain. Alright, fine. Let's get down into here. Find ourselves a crimson altar and do something with it. There's a chest over here. Nice. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. We can take that. We'll probably sell it. Alright, I, I believe I've entered a cave rather than a uh, chasm, but that's fine. That just leads somewhere. There's a few altars around the place, like, so you head to those. I would like to have an altar very close to my house, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Whatever. There's an altar right here, but now we can use one of these. Okay. We find ourselves in a way into the chasm. We're gonna explore these chasms here. We're gonna explore all these places. We're, gonna, we're just gonna go and explore these caves next few episodes. For now, I just wanna go and make this, and I wanna leave. Yep. Thank you, and goodbye. I'll be back, but just later. For now, I'm gone. Nice. Okay, chest, you can go and smack you down here to replace the ivy chest. There you are. And boom. Nice. And then you can also go and the, uh, put you away. Just get rid of you. This spiked guy, yeah, I guess you can smack you into equipment. Nice. Alright, cool. Now let's go and yeah, let's just fight the king slime. It's already daytime, as you can see. It turned to day while we were gone. So yeah, let's go. Let's fight the king slime. Get him done. Get him ticked off our list. And next episode, you can extend our home. Make it a bit better, a bit bigger, and the episode after that you can go and you can fight the brain of Cthulhu. Yeah, so extending our home. Yeah, so next episode you can, yeah, now, fight our king slime. Next episode, extending our home. And then the episode after that you can worry about exploring crimson, getting the brain of Cthulhu killed. And then I guess after the brain of Cthulhu's death we can make ourselves new armor. And then we can worry about exploring the jungle, heading down into the underworld, having a fun time. We're also going to go and build a home for the demolitionist. Alright, cool, that's that. So, yeah. Let's go and I just fight King Slime. I could fight him right here. I literally could fight him right here where I'm standing. Right in my house. But you know what? I think it's better if I fight him at the arena. Yeah, if, if I, it's going to be better to fight him there. Also, I'm going to go back home because I'm going to need two things. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to need a few items. Why? You'll see. Give me you two. There you are. And also give me you two. And then take me. Yeah. Now take me to the arena. I want to go and explore the sky a bit more while we're over there. There you go. Nice. So let's explore the sky, fight the king slime, and have a very successful episode. And next episode, you can worry about extending our home. Nice. All right. Smack you down. And be careful not to use a summoner yet. And then smack you over here. And then we can go and just, yeah. And huzzah! There you are. What is up here? Nothing. Okay, cool. This ball is a very good way to explore the thing. Oh, the dryad has arrived. Nice. I thought he needed to defeat the brain of Cthulhu for her to arrive. Whatever. Lunette, the dryad has arrived. And the dryad, she likes to live in the jungle. So, yeah, she's already actually in the jungle. Perfect. So good. And also, we can use this pylon now, yeah. We can also now officially use the jungle pylon because there's two NPCs living next to us. So good. Not only do you have an R NPC, but you can also go and use an R pylon. That is great. Anyway, I actually gotta do a, yeah, a bit more. Huzzah! There we are. Great. Anything over here? Nope. Okay. In that case. And... Huzzah! There we are. I don't think there's anything in the sky over here. Oh, it's worth a shot anyway. Cool. Now let's make our way to the jungle because you can teleport over there because, you know, the dryad's there now. That's quite cool. Hello, how do you do? Uh, Miss Lunette, I want to speak to you. No, get back here. No, I don't want to talk to you. Lunette, why are you standing behind Leonardo? Oh my god, can you move? They're literally standing on top of each other. Great. And because Leonardo's in front of you, Lunette. So two goblins walk in the bar and one says the other want to get a goblet of beer. Haha, <laughs> very happy. The land of 1.4 is 5% crimson. You are so close. Yeah, I don't really feel like eradicating it all. 
Solitude is sometimes good. There is room, in, there is room to grow and to breathe. I kissed the tree in the jungle and liked it. Good for you. What are you selling? Oh my god. Oh yeah, she sells uh yeah flower seeds and grass seeds, all that stuff. Interesting. And she also sells a jungle pile. But I already have one of those. Cool. Anyway, let's make our way back. And uh, yeah, let's let's just simply fight a boss, shall we? Let's go. Let's fight a big huge slime. Why? Because I kind of want to do that. I also want to go and explore the world over here a bit. Let's explore the sky. Fight the king slime, have a fun time. And next episode, we can worry about, as I said, oh, I forgot to pick up the tea. And next episode, we can worry about, uh, yeah, building our, expanding on our home. And they gave me that, because I forgot to pick it up. Yeah, I said, they gave me, yeah, there we are, good. They give me you, beautiful. Why well, is this door open? I don't really know, I don't really care. Get me out of here. Alright, now, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, I know I'm extending this by a bit, but just shut up. I smack this over here, and then the ball on here, there we are. And then this can go, and uh, yeah, and uh, just straight up, huzzah! And there's no floating islands to be seen, great. In that case, huzzah! Anything over there? Nope, nothing, typical. Uh, anything over this way then? No. Wait a minute, aha, uh -huh. no, okay. I can't actually get into range of the thing, where'd you get? And there, boom! And yet again, we don't have anything over there. Right, that's fine, whatever, that's that. Now let's go, you know, you know, get that up. And yeah, let's go. Let's fight the king slime, shall we? Yeah. Let's get in. Quickly just destroy the king slime. Get him ticked off our list. And the next episode, we can worry about extending our home. And then you can worry also worry about, you know, exploring the crimson. And after the brain of Cthulhu is dead, then you can worry about, you know, exploring the jungle. And also we can worry about uh, making our way to the underworld. Having a quick look at there. Maybe getting some hellstone. And building a home for the demolitionist. Good. There's so much to do in this game. Holy moly. Alright, up we go. And yeah, let's make our way to the arena. And yeah, let's fight King Slime, shall we? Yeah, you just kill that slime. There you are. This is the arena. It's beautiful. It's great. King Slime, come at me, you son of a gun. There you are. There he is. The man of the hour. Let's really just blow him up, shall we? I have a bunch of grenades. I missed. Great. Blow you up. There you are. That deals no damage. Okay, let's just hit him with some grenades. There you are. Granada. There you are. And let's maybe actually do some damage to the man, shall we? That was actually was a tiny bit of damage gel, but that's fine. Okay. We can go up quite easily, but he has some difficulties making his way up. But he obviously can't teleport if he feels like it. He also can spawn in spiked uh, slimes, which are very annoying because they shoot spikes and spikes are bad. Can you die, my sir? Thank you. Alright, good. We're dealing a bit of damage. He's gonna teleport to me because why wouldn't he? Okay, you know what? I've taken a lot more damage than I'd want to take, so that's quite bad, actually. I must say, I believe I am failing to kill a slime. A big slime. How can I fail to kill this slime? Is it just slime for the love of God? Oh god, no. Okay, get get down. Okay, code red, code red, code red. Okay. Oh my god, no! I forgot about fall damage. I got killed by fall damage. Ah, oh, give me a sec. Alright, I don't know how, but magically I managed to go and find myself two more slime crumbs. I don't know where they came from. Uh, I don't know, totally didn't cheat to get them. Mm, it's magic, I'm telling you. Anyway, let's go back there and try to fight the boss again. This time, let's not make those stupid mistakes we made last time. And uh, yeah, let's kill ourselves a big slime, shall we? I'm probably not going to go and use anything that he gives me, but I am going to kill him. So I can just go and just... So, so he's going to be dead, and I'm going to be happy, and he's going to be ticked off our list, and yeah. And that's going to be that. So let's just go and fight him again. I have two attempts. And yeah, if we fail, if we fail after these two attempts, I'm just going to go and give up for the day, because... If I defeated I have Cthulhu, but I'm struggling to kill a slime, then I just showed you something. So, I'm going to try twice. If we fail both times, then I'm just going to go... And, well, be pretty ashamed, I must say. And we can pick it up just some later time, if we fail today. For now, let's just get up and try to kill him. But I must say, the arena is pretty good. It's not perfect. I had better arena. It's a bit small. It probably would be better if it'd be, like, you know, a bit bigger. But you know what? It's good enough for now. King Slime, come here, you big fat slime. This time, we don't have any grenades, but we do have, well, the knowledge that we are not as strong as we actually think we are. He's gonna teleport up to me, you know. Actually, let's get a bit lower down, so... You know, we have a lot of more room to get back up again if we need to. He's gonna teleport right next to me because he feels like it. He kind of likes people, I guess. Okay, we're gonna get up two levels. Then we're gonna go and drop down a bit, just so we can get to my level. Then I'm gonna start shooting him with the bow. Yeah. Okay, the bow is not out of fire. We actually have to go and spam the shooting button. That's great. You're gonna now hear a bunch of clicking. You're welcome. Okay, we're gonna get up. Not too high, because we are. Okay, I have a bit of a strategy for him. There's a lot of slimes down there now, which is quite bad. Okay, now we're gonna go down, so he's gonna go down with me, but then we're gonna go up, and he's not gonna go up with me. So that's a good way to, you know, juke him out. He's gonna go up, but it's gonna take him quite a long while. He's gonna teleport back down again, because why not? Okay, we're getting about halfway. He's getting small. 
The more damage you deal to him, the smaller he gets. So, you know, he's a bit easier to evade, so that's quite easy. This is actually one of the few boss battles that get easier as you go on. Most battles get harder the further you go on, but this one gets gets a bit easier. Yes, he does he, he does spawn in like a thousand more slimes, but he gets smaller and the smaller he is, the easier he is to evade. Where the hell is he? What is he doing down there, bro? Get up. Okay, you're over here now. I didn't like mean okay. Um I'm kind of left the arena. I'm just saying I've kind of left the arena. And I'm kind of running for my life now. Okay, that's pretty good. We're getting him to like half health, which is pretty nice. But I must say, he's scared me. I know. Flaming arrows. It's flaming arrow time. Die, you son of a gun. I'm gonna set you on fire. Slime burns pretty easy, so that should deal quite a bit of damage to him. Okay, this is not a strategy I like, but it's a strategy that I have to use. Because, well, I'm being chased by a slime from the jungle. Okay, we're dealing quite a bit of damage to him. That's pretty good. Oh, I should say, slimes are very fast in water. And a jungle is made of like 90% of water. Oh god, run. Shoot, fire, shoot flaming arrows at him. Okay, now he's gonna teleport and I'm gonna go and run. No, bro, stop. No, oh my god, no, bro, stop. Attach yourself to the tree. Run for your goddamn life, my man. Oh no, there's a snatcher, 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 there's a No! God damn it, that snatcher killed me. That snatcher, oh my god. I cannot believe that I'm struggling so hard to kill a goddamn slime. It's literally just a slime I'm trying to kill. Oh my god. Okay, where the hell is the nurse? Why is she over there? Let's start it again, shall we? We... yeah, that, well, that went probably wrong. Okay, let's try one more time. If you fail this time as well, then I'm just gonna go and give up for the day. And you can try again next episode. For now, let's just go and just try again. And if you fail, if we fail a third time, then I'm just gonna show you that I'm quite bad at this game. So, let's try one more time. And if we fail again, then I'm just gonna give up. And you can try this again another time. For now, let's just try to kill him. See how far we can get. And we did get quite far. He was like below half health. So, that did, that did go quite good. We can try to use, like, our stronger arrows for this, because, you know, well, they're just stronger, and, you know, let's just use our better arrows, hopefully that'll kill him, and if not, then I'm just gonna go and give up, and you can pick this up next episode. But generally, I think the diagnosis is that arena is too small. I need a bigger arena, like, I need I need to be, like, you know, three levels taller, and, like, you know, a big, bit more wide. Whatever, let's try it again, one more time, this time hopefully without failing as much. Here he is, the big man, King Slime. We're gonna go and use our fire arrow straight off the bat. That should burn him. Like, look how look like look how big he is. Like when he when the battle starts. So, and he was like half the size because well he was half the health. So the battle doesn't need to get a lot different when you get halfway through because he gets a lot smaller and I guess a bit easier. Whatever. Let's just see. I have I have like my just arrow selected right after these. So when you run out of arrow when you run out of uh, fire arrows, you can straight we can move on straight to just arrows. Just got good. I have a good strategy for this, it just doesn't sometimes work because he teleports very weirdly. He doesn't always teleport in the same place, sometimes teleports lower down, sometimes teleports up. It's a very strange boss battle this is. Okay, we have moved to adjust arrows because, you know, we're firing these arrows now. These do, these do a lot of damage, that's quite good. So you get a little bit lower down, still have our healing potion left, so you can use that if we need to. So you get lower down, there we are. Get to my level, you son of a gun. There we are, now you're down there, that's quite good. We are getting quite far for the battle, I must say. My uh, little birdie friend is making good work of these guys. I'm going to die. Let's leave now make our way down. Then we can make our way back up again. There we are. No, okay, don't jump up so high, my man. Get back down, bro. If I am going to get killed by a big, huge slime again, I am generally going to cry. <laughs> like, I'm gonna, you know, think about refunding this game. Like, bro. Well, I kind of refund it because I have it uh, playing it for like approximately 300 hours longer than I can, you know, for, for me to be able to refund it. But you get the point. If I cannot kill like slime at my current level of gear in this game, that is going to be quite a shaming. But generally, I got my pattern down pretty well. I've run out of Jester hours, so we're back to normal hours, which deal like literally no damage. But that's fine. Now, down we go. He's going to go down with me. That slime's going to screw everything up. Then I'm going to get down under him. Okay, that sounds what, wrong. Okay, these slimes that are everywhere are getting quite in the way because they're like, you know, catching the bullets for him. So instead of him taking damage, the slime's taking damage. Which is quite bad because killing the slimes isn't going to help me at all. Well, it's going to help me a bit, but I don't have time to be killing the slimes. I keep on forgetting I have a shield. Okay, no, stop. No, oh, bro, now he's up here. No, okay, he's very fast. He's now a very fast slime. Very fast and angry slime. I need a better arena. This arena is too small. That is my diagnosis. The arena is way too small. Okay, bro, why are you down there now? Like, bro, his... T I will never understand this teleportation pattern. I never will. I never have and I never will. Okay, now we're gonna get down under. Then he's gonna get... Yep, yeah, then I'm gonna go up again. Yeah, okay, bro. Now, where? why are you down there? You know, where, where is he? Bro, where is that man? Okay, no, that's where he is. Oh, my God. Okay, 30 seconds we can heal again. Bro, this is like the most... You know, the top 10 epic enemy battles of the goddamn century. 
Okay, he's getting very fast. He gets very small when he gets low on health, but he also gets very fast, which is quite annoying, I must say, because, you know, it's hard to hit, it's hard to hit a small, quick slime. It's very hard to hit him, very hard to deal damage to him. Maybe this deals more damage. I believe that this does indeed deal more damage, and the more damage, the better, because the more damage, the quicker he dies, and the quicker I get this battle over. Okay, my man, can you just die? There we are. I think we got it now. There's no way you can kill me now, right? Yeah, I think we got it. We're gonna run up the arena because, you know, I think we just simply got it now. Okay, I'm out of- okay. I'm out of mana, that's quite bad. Okay, I nearly died because of fall damage. Where the hell is he going? Like, bro. My man, where are you going? No, stop. Just die now. Die now. Okay, it's time for you to die. No, it's time for you to die. Die, 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 die. Oh, no, no, no. Die, 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 die. Yes! Oh, that was close. Okay, teleport. Go. Just run! Oh, Jesus Christ. I cannot believe that I found it, found it so hard to kill King Slime. Oh, my God. Wow. All right, well, that was that, I guess. I was so low. I, got, I was probably very low. But anyway, King Slime is dead. And I must say, that was one difficult battle. Holy moly. I guess dump all that stuff away. And let's just see what he got. Yo, nurse, heal me, please. That would hurt. All right, let's see what he got. Well, I guess I probably know what, what we got. He drops the same stuff every single time, but that's fine. That was definitely an epic battle. Boom! Slime hook, pretty nice. This you know, top of the ninja armor, nice. Solidifier, yep, and the Angry Royal Gel. Slimes become friendly, that actually might be quite useful, to be honest. Although I don't really have anything that I can swap it for, so I guess it's gonna stay on me for now. And oh, look, I presume they're celebrating my victory. I don't know, it's just a random event that can happen. Yeah, every now and then a bunch of, you know, lights can happen, can just appear, that's quite nice. I'm gonna pretend that, that they're celebrating my victory against the big huge slime. Well, we, well, yeah, so, Sly, I guess you can put that on, I'm gonna look like a ninja, I like looking like a ninja, and there we are, we're a ninja man now, yeah, it's ninja man with golden shoes, great, and our dead man's sweater, I can put that somewhere, slime hook, I don't think the slime hook is, you know, as good as a squirrel hook, it doesn't even attach to trees, pathetic, okay, we can now go and swap, yep, yeah, that out, so I guess I can just dump all of you, the solidifier, who wants a solidifier in their home, it's a good, interesting question, Yo, you want to solidify a girl? Why is there so much stuff in your house? Take that. Yeah, the top floor is empty. Yeah, drop that. I don't really need that gel either. Yo. Uh, are you selling the dog thing again? Or at all? No, go to hell. Alright, now, in that case, the angry old gel and thing, I'm going to keep it because... Well, I don't think I need it, Johnny. I don't think I need it, to be honest. I think I'm just going to go and shove it into my equipment chest. The royal gel. It's cool, but I don't know. I have better stuff. Yeah, smack you into here. No, and I, you can go. I don't really have a vanity chest, do I? No. This can be clothes and armor. There we go. Delete you. Clothes and armor. Nice. Good. Save you and smack you in there. And actually, I'm going to make an art chest for, like, you know, rename expert mode. Mo no. Expert mode items. There we are. And in here, we can go and smack. The King Slime thing, Magica. There we are, smack you on that. Right, well, that's that. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we have indeed ran out of time this episode. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. And I guess I uh, hope I'll see you guys in the next episode. Where next episode are going to go? We're going to extend our home. We're going to go bust this wall down, extend it there. I'm going to go up a few levels. And simply gonna, we're going to extend our home. We're going to make our home big and beautiful. And then after the extension of our home, the episode after that, we can go and we can worry about exploring the Crimson, seeing we can find and preparing ourselves for the fight between the Brain of Cthulhu. And I guess you can also worry about again down into the underworld. We're gonna have a fun time with that. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. And I guess, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Where next episode we're going to go. And we're going to go and extend our home. Thank you for watching. And yeah, I'll see you later. Goodbye.